Now, to be honest, one of my biggest complaints with the iPod Touch has always been that you cannot get the battery percentage on it. Like, it does everything else that an iPhone can do, except for the fact that it doesn't tell you the battery percentage. We're gonna fix that in this video. Okay, so to get the battery percentage on the iPod Touch, it's never been something that has been a simple, easy to do process. But today we're making that a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and unlock our iPod. And once we're inside the iPod, you'll see I have a little icon down here that says get battery percentage. Now my iPod is still running iOS 10 and I have no plans to update. But if I tap on this icon, you'll see that it opens up a workflow that I've created and then it will tell me what my current battery percentage is on my iPod Touch. For those of you who don't know, Workflow is basically Siri shortcuts prior to iOS 12 and Apple's acquisition of the app Workflow. So all you really need to do is download either Workflow or you can download Siri shortcuts if you're on iOS 12. Either way, it works exactly the same. This demonstration, I figured I would show you how I did it using Workflow because Workflow is compatible with both the 5th and 6th generation iPod Touch. So if you have an iPod 5 that's still rocking iOS 9 or iOS 8, I believe even, you can go that far back. So all we need to do is create a new workflow. Simply tap on the option and it will ask you what you want to create. We're just going to do a normal one here. And then at the bottom, we'll go down to Actions and search for the word battery. You'll see an option that says get battery level and it's basically that easy. Once you've created it, you can title it, pick an icon, but it's basically just going to run back your battery percentage as a text box. Now, no worries, if you have iOS 12 and you're using Siri shortcuts, it's also possible to do it that way. I do have iOS 12 on this iPhone, so I'm gonna demo how to do it in Siri shortcuts. You can do it there as well. So for this, we're just gonna open up Siri Shortcuts, create a new shortcut, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna search for battery, get battery level, and then we can go up here to settings and we have some options of what we can work with. For this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and re-color uh, the icon, grab the battery indicator, and title the shortcut get, or actually we'll just title the shortcut battery, and put the percent symbol on there. So now we have battery percent indicator up at the top and we are gonna add this to Siri. So you can do this on an iPod Touch as well. So we're gonna say, what is my battery level? Just like that, we've added it to Siri and we are done. You can of course add it to your home screen as well. So you may be asking, is this legitimate? Does it really work? Is my battery really 100%? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. So yeah, the iOS 12 one was created on a phone, but just to be fair, you can do it on the iPod Touch as well, and you can use either Workflow or Siri Shortcuts, depending on what version of iOS you have, to get the desired results of your battery percentage. So if you have a fifth generation iPod Touch that can't be updated past iOS 9, this is gonna work for you as well. If you have the sixth generation, you can also upgrade to iOS 12 and just use Siri shortcuts. So that's a quick way to get your battery percentage. I hope this helped a lot of you guys out. If you found this video interesting, I urge you to check out my other Siri shortcut video where I show you how to spam your friends using Siri shortcuts. Uh, in the description below is a link to the workflow version of this and a link to the Siri shortcuts version of this as well as a link to my previous video on how to spam your friends. So hopefully you enjoyed this and I will catch you in the next one. Out.